right so first concept you have to understand that how in a healthy person in the healthy cardiovascular system blood is kept into purely liquid form and then we have to understand that whenever in some point of the cardiovascular system there is injury how a plug is derived from the constituents of the blood and plug that leaking point right so let's come to the first thing first thing first first of all we have to make a concept before we really go how the platelet plugs are formed before we go that how coagulation is done how clots are done we'll do it later first we should know how our cardiovascular system keeps our blood into fluid form and how our cardiovascular system all the time day and night prevent the formation of clots in its circulatory system who knows the answer to this how normally our cardiovascular system keep our blood into liquid form because if you disrupt those mechanisms blood will convert into semi solid masses yes who will give me the answer i think tell me anti coagulation okay let me tell you before you come up with some unusual ideas right let me make some capillary this is capillary basement membrane here are endothelial cells what are these cells cells and we will see how the system work in health and work in it in disease right of course there is endothelial lining there also yes we have just a large one portion of circulatory channel right and we are going to see how blood is kept within this channel into which form yes please liquid form and then we will develop the second concept then when blood or its blood vessel wall is injured how the blood convert into semi solid mass mass right now first thing which is there that as you know that normally blood is kept into liquid form it means there should be some mechanisms in the healthy vascular lining which should prevent the formation of clot is that right these are healthy endothelial cells this healthy vascular lining should have some mechanism to prevent the clot formation here those days are gone when doctors thought that endothelial lining is a simple lining now they say endothelial lining are biologically active tissue which is doing so many function now look at the endothelial cells endothelial cells produce certain products and you must be knowing endothelial cell have a capability to release nitric oxide endothelial cell have capability to release yes pgi2 prosta prosta cyclin the special type of prosta glandin which is called prosta cyclin these are healthy endothelial cell healthy endothelial cell they have a capacity to produce nitric oxide healthy endothelial cell have a capacity to produce prosta cyclins and healthy endothelial cells have capacity to produce adp phosphatases special enzymes which are called adp phospha phosphatases d phosphatases d phosphatases now listen what these products are doing these are very important these product are said to be anti yes anti platelet agents they don't allow the platelet to stick right let's suppose here is a platelet right and it want to stick over here but it is repelled repelled by what it is repelled by nitric oxide repelled by prostacyclines repelled by adp d phosphatases right all these substances don't allow the platelets 
to stick to the endothelial surface. Why? Because for the platelet to stick to the endothelial surface, platelet receptor should be in active state. Platelets have receptors, certain receptors. And those receptors should be in active state only then platelet will stick. But nitric oxide or PGI2, right, these substances, when they bind with the platelet, they inactivate the receptors of the platelets and the platelets are not able to bind with the healthy endothelium, right. In the same way, ADP, adenosine diphosphate, favors the, favors the attachment of platelet to endothelium and this enzyme break down the ADP. Again, platelets are unable to stick. So, these agents are antiplatelet agents which are produced normally by endothelial cells. Is that right? It means that healthy endothelium does not favor the attachment of platelet to the healthy endothelial lining. Secondly, platelets love to bind with extracellular matrix which is under the endothelium and healthy endothelium is a biological partition between the platelets and and extracellular matrix under the endothelial cells. So, they do not allow the platelets to come in touch with that extracellular matrix or basement membrane or collagen fibers, right? This is one way. So, naturally platelets are unable to bind there. Now, they are no more interested, they are sleepy, right? They are not active. They are kept inactivated by the products of endothelium and platelets do not bind with the healthy endothelium. Am I clear? Right? By the way, what is the size of platelets? Platelets are membrane bound cytoplasm containing cells without any nucleus, without any nucleus. Is that right? And if they are activated, they can undergo reactions which will make a platelet plug. But in healthy cardiovascular system, they are kept inhibited. Right? What is the size of platelets? It is 2 to 3 microns. Do you remember the size of RBC? Yeah, all of you remember a normal size of the RBC is 7 to 8 microns. You can put 3 platelets in one RBC. That is the easy way to remember. You can put 3 platelets in one RBC. So, they are, they are about 2 to 3 what? Micron. micron. Is that right? Size of the platelet. And what is the lifespan of platelet? Yeah, about 8 to 10 days. Right? Platelets uh, uh, lifespan, total lifespan is 8 to 10 days. But they are very important for us. Right? Because every day thousands of micro puncture develop in every healthy person's vasculature. Even if you are perfectly healthy, thousands of the micro puncture develop in your cardiovascular system and they are plugged by platelets every day. That is why the people who are having deficiency of platelets, we call it thrombocytopenia, right? They develop micro hemorrhages in the body, under the skin, under the mucous membranes and they develop small hemorrhages throughout the internal organs. So, what you have to remember? The platelets are not dead cells. They are biologically active substances or cells, it's very small cells without nuclei. They are circulating in the blood and wherever cardiovascular system is healthy, they are kept inhibited. And any point where cardiovascular system or endothelium is injured, they just stick on that as a biological what plug. We will see it later.